Oh my god, guys, I am so excited. We are finally getting to play Blasphemous. This is a uh, Metroidvania um, platforming fantastic hack and slash game with this dark gothic design, sort of reminiscent of maybe Bloodborne. It looks utterly brilliant and I've been so excited. Basically, this is going to be a crazy month. We've got Blasphemous, we've got Greedful, which I am now downloading as well. We're then going to have Code Vein and The Surge 2 later on. Oh boy. Let's do this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, just look at the crazy gothic design. Let us begin our pilgrimage. <laughs> I'm assuming it will be better with a controller. Because this is my guilt, I claim you grievous miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Fought your punishment and nail it deep. Shake. Lovely. Sorry, that should not be turned on. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. Sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the Miracle. Hello there. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. And here we go. Okay. Biliary flasks. Press LB to consume one of your biliary flasks and recover vitality. These consecrated flasks are refilled by kneeling in a pridu. Pridu? Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. So, is this sort of like Estus flasks? Pretty sure it is. I I'm... I've been informed that this game is going to have some sort of Dark Souls element to it, which obviously excites me very much. Okay. Right. Just, um, the most exciting thing about this game for me is just the design of the world, the monsters. It looks so unique and so dark and weird and twisted and gory. I love it. Cool. Oh, right. Let's see. Oh, I like it. Do we have a stamina bar? I don't know if we do, actually. No. Okay. Oh, is this one of the things to kneel down at? Press Y to rest at the preview. Pre uh, sorry, I just have no idea how to pronounce that. Saving your game and refilling your health and flasks. A bit like a bonfire. Upon death, you will respawn at the last visited preview. Resting will cause enemies to respawn. Alright. 
So it's a bit like a game called Dark Devotion I was playing recently, with a similar design to this one. Um, cool. Oh, hello there. Okay. Don't hurt me, please. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Whoa! Ow! Ow. Oh, I need to watch out for that. Ah! I need my, um... Crap! This is tough. It's a bit like the first boss in Hollow Knight. In fact, it's very similar in terms of how it moves. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Ah! How do I refill? Aha! Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Shit. Oh, that is a uh, exemplaris ex communications. Fine. Very, very tough for a first boss. Yeah, I know. Press right triggers a dodge. Use the dodge action to crouch through small spaces. Avoid physical attacks and pass through enemies without suffering damage. That's the one thing you can't do with Hollow Knight. There's no way of dodging through enemies at the start of the game. So, very. that's the problem with a, a side-scroller. You'll just get crushed into one corner and you have no choice but to be hit. I hate that um, thing of not being able to move past your enemies. But, oh look, it's my, my corpse. Oh, a bit like Dark Souls again. So I assume uh, you can get back your soul points or whatever. Ow! Oh god. Let me die. God. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Shit! Oh, come on! I oh, was very, very, very close there. Hop on over. Shit. Ah, uh, still hit me, damn it. What? Sometimes you can't dodge past him. Shit. This isn't going well, man. <laughs>
Right, I'm getting used to the uh, timings now. That was so much easier than the times before. I was just getting used to that timing of dashing under him. It's easier to do that than to uh, jump over his attack. Requiem Eternum, I think that's it. Well, you can't take that off. Horse bleeding. Ooh, icky. What the hell? That's so strange. I'm intrigued though. I really like the design of this game. I adore it so far. I think this has been well worth the wait. And Greedfall. Uh, I've heard that Greedfall is like five to ten hours of a game stretched out over 30 hours. Skill Up said that on YouTube. Um, and unfortunately it seems like it's got all the things I was uh, hoping it wouldn't have. Oh, you can do an upward attack. Can you do a downward one? Oh, that was one thing about uh, Hollow Knight. You could bounce off of enemies. Oh, okay. You need a key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Press any button to continue. Okie dokie. Well, let's get ourselves to a pre de, de whatever Oh, just look at the design. The holy line. Regretful. Regretful be the heart. Penitent one, the anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Okay. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Okay. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one, at the end of the trail carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral, in the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Okay. Take this thorn place it on the handle of your sword, if, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. Having grown, with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the gnaw, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. Okay. You can check out the items you have found in your inventory while playing. Press but up to open up. Thorn. Small gift from Dio Gracias. Nailed into the effigy of the twisted under the guard of your sword, the thorns arisen from the miracle feed on sin and guilt, growing with the burden that its bearer carries. 
Dear Gracias' farewell. Brother Abbott, you know that I have been in a scribe in this abbey since I was but a wee child. I have written about our church, our saints, and our miracle of the greatest pain. I must inform you that I have made the decision to leave, although I intend to continue writing. In these walls I cannot be a true witness of the works of the miracle. I need to appreciate with my own eyes your holy works. I will be a teller of the miracle wherever it takes me, rain or shine or scorching sand under my feet. Alright. So. Good. What have we got? What is this? Oh, we got rose, rosary beads, relics, okay, okay. collectibles, abilities, mm, nice. Concentrate the power of the Mia Culpa on the blades, allowing the penitent one to release its full potential in a single but incredible devastating attack. Ranged attack. Okay, like a drop down attack, dodging thrust. Oh, I want abilities, give me abilities. Prayers? Your hearts. Oh, it's all very exciting stuff, guys. So, thank you very much for that information, sir. Let's let us pray. Right, we are fully recharged. So, what is the blue bar? I I've just noticed that. Not sure. Oh, hello, an actual like enemy, enemy. I do like the dodging. I think it's uh, nice and fluid. Oh, it's like the bone wheel enemies from Dark Souls. Advanced technique. Oh, parry, counterattack, retribution. I didn't know if you'd have this in this game. Press right button to parry. This maneuver allows you to counter weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes. During a counter, press the X button at the moment of impact to perform a retribution, increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I kind of screwed up there. I hope I don't have to go too far to the next thing. Oh, God! Hello? You have acquired Verdia... Hmm? In order to use this prayer, open the room... Okay. What exactly do prayers do? I'm excited, guys. Song that filled the air... Uh, sorry, Verdials of the Forsaken Hamlet. Song that filled the air during the festivities of a lost village. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the penitent one. The ringing of a laced shell horn used to precede this chant, but now only silence remains. Whether in rain, sun, or wind, may this land blessed be. Whether walking or in deep sleep, may this land blessed be. Whether by day or by in obscurity, may this land blessed be. Awesome! We have a prayer, I suppose. So it damages enemies through flaws and... Ah! Equip a prayer in your inventory and press left trigger to invoke it. Prayers and some combat techniques use up fervor. Oh, that's what the blue thing is. Attack and execute enemies to fill up your fervor bar. Okay. Right. Ooh, that's very good. Oh, no. Uh, help. Oh, you have to, like, duck and attack. How do I get up there? What? Hmm. Oh, what was... Why popped up for a second? I have no idea how I could get up there. Shit. What? Is that a prayer up there? I think it is. That crow. Help me, crow. Help me get that item. Mm. Yeah, I've not got a clue how to get up there. You can't, like, jump on those wooden things. 
Oh, that's annoying. I'd love to know how to get that. Just realised what my health at. Oh hey, come back here. Cool. Children of Moonlight, you'll find them caged all over Custodia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Alright. Quite a few little enemies here. Christ, I'm getting absolutely fucked here. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not very good at that. I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, crap! Jesus, I'm being an idiot. <laughs> I wonder where the next um, resting point is. Oh, through here, I suppose. God, I need to stop that. Oh, I just realised the mouse is in this room. There is no answer to our plea. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back on those who await here. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, I wish I got that prayer thing, though. Uh, press did it to open up your map. Right. So, preview. Okay, so it's just been straight along here. Um, Alright, cool. The Holy Lion. Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. So we're in the suburbs. We've got Guilt, Confessor, Fountain, Knot, Chapel of Travel. So, yeah, I was wondering if there's going to be any fast travel these sort of stuff. Bazinga! Oh, it doesn't recharge your fervor, though. Hello? Oh, hello there. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero. Sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kisses of wounds. Few remain here who can still employ it, but Tirso is my name. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under said skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracles shall show you which ones they are. Oh, I'm so glad we have a game based on like a holy pilgrimage in this dark and twisted religious landscape. It's fantastic. You have acquired a dove skull. Oh, well, excellent. Oh, rosary beads. Equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I adore upgrades and abilities and skills and leveling. I just love it. So, to have rosary beads, relics, and uh, whatever that is, and prayers and abilities, it's just... Oh, it's just... Oh, God, it's too much. Skull of a bird, drilled as a collect. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens the penitent one's defences. That morning, when the bonfires were lit and the convicts were raising their ghastly pleas to, to the indifferent inquisitors, a white dove came down from heaven and perched on the shoulder of a prisoner, where it stays until it burned with him. Okay, so how do I get these upgrades? Go to the mere copper altar to, uh, to unlock new abilities. Alright, well, cool. So I guess you have to, you know, keep these points in the top right. I assume that's what it is. Um, can I... How do I... Hmm? How do I use this lever? That's what it is, isn't it? 
So I need to bring that guy up there something. Ah, oh, now, now we're getting into some real Metroidvania sort of uh, leveling. See, I like... I've never been that interested in platformers, but games like this and Salt and Sanctuary are mm, very good. Get that mouse out of there. Penitent one, you who carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. Lend it to us and wipe away our tears. Ow. Because it is an act of penitence. I love it. The virtue of Mia Culpa hath ascended. Mia Culpa Shrines. Visit Mia Culpa Shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend tiers of atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mia Culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. Well, let's have a look see. Ah! Oh. Yes. So, concentrate the power of Mia Culpa on the blade allowing the pencil one to release its full potential in a single but incredible devastating attack. Weight of Sin, uh, it takes full advantage of speed of a fool to perform. Well, now, see, I've already seen moments where I could use that quite successfully. Um, but, the mm, fourth combo finish attack. Like, this one seems pretty essential, really. It's just one powerful attack. Should we go with that one? Yeah. Awesome. I'm looking forward to getting that ranged attack though. That looks fantastic. Cool. <laughs> ah, yay! That does have a very slow wind up though. I wasn't thinking it was going to be that slow. Uh, one thing I gotta say uh, that I wasn't expecting the game's a lot more fluid and fast paced than I was expecting. I was expecting to be a little bit more slow and methodical, but it's actually got, uh, and this is um, massively helped by the very, very well done animation. Thou hast called upon the winch of the Order of the True Shrine. In this place, we gather the remains of those who were separated and forgotten. So we can grant them holy burial, as our charitable rule prescribeth. Help us these poor souls, O oh, penitent one in silence. The order blesses you. I like that you have to actively press a button to get to the next dialogue thing, because often with games, if it automatically rolls through, I like to skip like the pause so I can get through the dialogue quickly whilst hearing all of it. At least I'm not going to be accidentally skipping lines of dialogue that way. Oh, hello there. You have acquired Phalanx of Brannon, the Grave Digger. Brannon Joshua Mullins dug the graves of hundreds throughout his life, whether friends, uh, family, or foe, but when the chaos arose, there was no one left to return the favor. Okay. Well, I still am very intrigued to... <gasps> Wasteland of the Buried Churches. Oh, look at this. Oh, here is where I could have uh, done with that attack. Oh. Oh, I was going to see if I could deflect that. So that would have been a heavier attack, so I assume... God, this music is excellent! I, I haven't really been paying much attention to it until now. It's quite fantastic! Haha! <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch. So, what have we got down there? Oh, there's a collectible. 
However, I think I'd have to drop down here to get it. Oh, I can't. Well, we'll go round. Yeah, top-notch music. Really impressed. Ow. Ah, god damn it. Something I've been so, like, aching for is good monster design in games. I've been playing games like, um... Oh, crap. Dark Souls 2, which I adore. I think it's a fantastic game. I think people are very hard on that game, unnecessarily so. Oh, what? Shit. Um... But this game... This game has some brilliant designs. Um... Because, like, I love Bloodborne, but I don't have a PS4, so I can't personally play it. Um, so yeah, this is the kind of monster design I've been waiting for for ages. I guess actually there is a way I could attack those guys and that would be to dodge underneath them and go about it that way. Let's check the map here. So yeah, it's still kind of, um, you know, there's not too many different pathways yet like this. Oh, I didn't even do it. Cool. Oh, there's a bulb contraption thing in there. I don't know how I'd get to that. Ow! Oh, I can't dodge underneath him. Fine. But I can just jump over, but I missed. I like it. Right, this is where I was hoping I could get to. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, fuck, you're pretty big. Oof, blimey. Ow! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, no! Oh, 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 I didn't realise how low my health was. Yeah, I mean, I adore Hollow Knight, but... It's like... Oh, you son of a bitch! It's like the polar opposite in terms of, like, um level, well not level design, but like set design and character design it's really dark compared to Hollow Knight's rather cute style well Hollow Knight's dark but not like this kind of uh, twisted, bloody, sacrilegious, blasphemous right ah that hits hard Dodge! Christ, what happened there? How do I... I'm still a bit confused about dodging under enemies. Right, so what is this? It's taken me long enough to get to it. Ovul... It's a vulva. Ovula of Proclamation. When the ovula is equipped, you have a chance of earning Tears of Atonement when destroying an object. Decree from His Holiness Escribar. It shall be called the Atonement. Atoin it, it, it shall be called the Anointed Legion, said His Holiness. Under the armor, their bodies shall be covered with bandages, anointed with oils that I myself will bless. They will protect the mother of mothers as I will protect them. Right. So, what are Tears of Atonement again? I'm not actually sure. Oh, is it points? Skill points when destroying an object? Well, not skill points. Ah! No way! Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Did I really just do that? Oh, God. I'm not doing too well, am I, guys? <laughs> Christ. I'm probably going to be streaming this game soon as well. The thing is, I can't stream games like Dark Souls, 3D games, but when it's like a still background and there's not much movement on the screen, it's fine. It's because of the bit depth I have to stream in. Horribly frustrating, I know. Alright, let's try that again. Ooh! Sorry. I can get that other ability now. 
the one where I can uh, do damage by dropping onto enemies. Because, I, to be honest, I've seen like four or five different points in the game when I could have done that and it would have been incredibly beneficial. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. Yeah, boy! Ah, oh, brilliant. Just trying to. <laughs> oh, I love it! 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 Cool. So you can hit through shields doing it that way. So that's good. So I think I need to go to the right up here. I don't know how far I'm going to get with this amount of health, but we'll see. Ooh, something up there. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Uh, Capitet of Barrack, the what now? Whether executions or lashings, Barrack was always there to proclaim them loudly, but his voice broke down gradually as day by day he had to announce the sentences of his entire family. So these are like body parts that I'm finding or something? Ooh. Can I hit that from here? Damn it. What was that? Oh, cool! <laughs> Damn it. I got it. Crap, I shouldn't be messing around like this. God damn it. Oh, this game is tough, man. Jesus. I will go back so far now. <laughs> 